Welcome to the Great Basin Desert. We are about 30 to 45 miles outside of Delta, Utah, and we're headed to a trilobite dig site, which is another 25 miles or so the other direction from here on a dirt road. Matter of fact, we're on the turnoff to go down there. It's called You Dig Fossils, and it's one of the few premier Cambrian age fossil quarries, and I highly recommend visiting. But I wanted to take some drone footage out here and show you what an ancient salt flat and even modern day one could look like. And you can see lots of places where there has been some water or fluvial deposition and weathering and erosion. And then the real white material is sand with salt. And that is exactly what this is, it's a giant salt flat. And in the horizon, you see what is the mountainous area of the Great Basin. So Great Basin is um, literally basin and range topography. So the basins are what you see flatlands like this and the range are in the perimeter, which are the mountains. And in the Great Basin Desert, the elevation is thousands of feet high, which allows for an entirely different ecosystem. We're a good hour or so from the park headquarters, if not farther. But this gives you a really good look at the arid conditions out here. You can see there's mud cracks. You can see some of that fluvial erosion there indicating that this area does have periods where it can get wet, especially during monsoon season, and then it'll dry up, leaving behind any evaporite deposits. There's also some groundwater discharge in the area. That's a really good look right there on your screen where you can see the zoomed in area I'm focusing on a river channel. Obviously it does not have water in it right now, but did at some point in the past. So desert environments, Aeolian that is, may seem barren, but there's so much life in the desert. And the Great Basin Desert would be one of those indicators. So the Great Basin Desert actually crosses state boundaries and you can get into Nevada and see it. As a matter of fact, we stayed in Eli, Nevada this night after we had gone through this entire region. And that's on the other side of the Great Basin Desert. But again, it's basin and range topography. And that happened because of a series of faulting that has changed the landscapes out west and leads to some very interesting geologic phenomena. More to come. See you at the next stop.